I'd like to welcome everyone to North Fulton uh, Amateur Radio League. And, and in case y'all wonder, uh, I, you might have thought I had brain surgery with all this uh, work up here, but uh, I just had to have a new one installed, so not a problem. Uh, just a minor work up here on the top. Uh, hey, John. Yeah, everyone that comes up here and speaks, if you would, stay right in this area, right here, don't wander over here, uh, because we have a problem with it. You know, we've talked about the chair stacking before, so when we get ready to take the chairs up, make sure that we stack them properly based on these pictures, and you'll see a picture inside here. And let's see, uh, be sure and silence your communication devices. Exits through the front and rear doors, the kitchen, fire extinguisher in the kitchen, restrooms and water are in the entrance hall. Watch all the cords on the floors you see up here so you don't trip. And then uh, after the meeting, be sure and help put all the chairs up and we're going to clean up and make sure everything's is good. And we got the end of prayer by nine, so we'll have plenty of time to clean up. So be sure and uh, wear your badges and your logo shirt. And if you don't have them, go to the mark. You'll see them listed on the mark. You can get a badge or you can get a shirt. Uh, we'd like to also welcome any new members. Do we have any new members tonight? Uh, I don't see any new members tonight. Do uh, we have any visitors? We have one visitor right here. Welcome. And another poster back to the corporation. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, the scouts have come in and he's selling some tickets uh, for the scouting organization, so be sure to see him and, and uh, get a ticket from them. They're $5 and you definitely get your money back. Uh, we have a, a door prize at the end of a $25 Visa gift card, and we also have a 50 50 drawing that you are getting tickets in the back. We are uh, going to try to update our bylaws, and you'll, you'll notice that up here we've had some bylaws that need to be addressed for quite some time. So we're going over that now. We hope to have a, a submission that we can send out to the club in about two months. And once we do that, you'll be able to look at them, and if you have any comments, send, a, send us the comments back, and we'll try to vote on them the following month. Uh, on e-news, we need an e-news editor. Uh, Diane has been overwhelmed by her work. She's done an outstanding job on e-news. I don't know if uh, uh, you have followed uh, her work on e-news. She's done a really good job. So be sure and uh, read her e-news. She's put together uh, an excellent assortment of articles. And we would like to have anyone to, uh, to volunteer to do e-news for us because Diane's last month is February, so it means we have no one for March to do e-news. If, if you have an interest in putting that together, uh, send me an email and uh, we'll sure entertain it. Uh, also, if you have any e-news articles, uh, please submit those and you can submit uh, anything. If you, if you read the current one that's out, you'll see that I put one in there that was rather personal. You, you might find amusing. So you can do the same thing on any experiences you've had in, in your uh, early life of ham radio or in your current life of ham radio. So uh, be sure and uh, uh, do that. Uh, Jim Stafford is going to give us a briefing on the uh, his new code device that he's uh, Selling, so uh, I don't know if he's still in the. Is Jeff still in the other room? I'm here. I'm here. Uh, here he comes. I don't know how it's supposed to come up now. This doesn't count for my two minutes of walking up there. <laughs> okay. All right, here you go. Right here. I don't know uh, that all of you have kind of gotten in on this, but we decided that John and Warren and Martha and some of us got together at uh, Tech Fest a year ago, 2019, and decided we needed a kit. Should find a kit that was more oriented toward ham radio than just blinking lights and things like that. So over the course of the year, uh, I've put together a circuit that I thought would make sense. And uh, we've come up with a kit 
code practice oscillator kit. Now this is a, we, we want this to be a club project. And I seriously believe that because we have a very unique kit, that it will get a lot of traction around the country, maybe around the world. It's currently available on our website, $10 for the kit postpaid or in person, like tonight, we've got another, we've got, we sold 10, we've got 10 more back there. But we'd like everybody to consider it because the kit is a very simple soldering kit for soldering practice. And it, like I say, every, anywhere we sell it in person, it's going to be $5, such as the Dalton Ham Fest mm -hmm. this weekend. What's unique about this, most crude practice hospitals require a key. And if you've ever priced keys lately, a very unsatisfactory key is like nine something. A almost unsatisfactory is 20, and another one that's not very good is 30, and then you can go up from there. This, this oscillator does not require, as soon as the kid builds this, your neighbor, your son, your grandson, your scout, whatever, they can make sounds with it. We include a little card. We don't include the, the, the tin. You can buy some mints and eat them and give them the tin or use your own. This has a switch on it. Once you turn the switch on, Okay, you can actually see it by capacitive touch. You can plug in a key if you'd like. If you have a key you, with an eighth inch plug, you can plug it in. But it has LEDs for brightness. It has a red one behind the touch pad, a blue one over here on the side to make it look good, and it has a sounder on it. It's a very simple circuit, just batteries and sounder basically with a touch on it. Now, nobody else that I've ever seen sells a kit that makes oscillating sound by itself unless you have a key to plug in. You can make them out of tin cans and PC boards and all that, but ours you do not need that. We included the Narfol code sheet in here. Tells you the order to learn of one like Estonian, Dr. Mulch and things like that. And uh, it will fit in a, an Altoids can. It was designed by Warren, KD4Z. Hi Warren, where are you at? Okay, Warren has got the designed a beautiful PC board and uh, they're very, very good. Now, about 40 of them were built in TechFest this year, and I think it went very well. Has anybody built in here built one of these? Hey, Jack built one. Okay, well, we're done. We're, I'm almost done. So, Jack, does yours work? Yes, sir, it does work. Well, and it, was, it was easy to build, and you built it at Narfolk Jr. At, at a previous night. We test, made a test of it at Narfolk Jr. We'd like for everybody to pick up one of these to support the project, but I really think this is going to go nationwide as soon as we start advertising on reflectors and things, straight key century club and things like that. Because you can give them to your neighbor, have them in your pocket, show them off, get people excited about Morse code, kind of like I am, okay? So we have 10 left back there, but we got plenty more where these came from, okay? Let's, have, let's support the club project. I think it's gonna be a big one, and I think we're gonna sell a thousand of them before it's over, so, you know, next year if we do, we can produce the new. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate it very much. Now, I'd like to ask Audrey and Jack Mapper what to come up. They're going to tell us about Tech Fest and how much fun they had at Tech Fest. Alrighty, hi everybody. I'm Audrey. Came from BUN, and and I'm Jack Kilo, Mike Ford, Zulu, and the Alpha. Oh, yes, be all extra and no on me. Okay, so we want to talk about Tech Fest 2020, which was a great success. Uh, it started out a little slow, and I was honestly a little worried, but it got it, we got quite a lot of people showing up. Not only kids, but also adults who wanted to learn how to solder, and most importantly, women who wanted to learn how to solder. And so it was great. We got at least how many kids and adults you think we got? We got about, uh, we got 40 kits built, so we had a few examples, so about like 37. Yeah, all I know is that we were out of kits by the end of it. Yeah. So it was pretty good. Uh, I think it was pretty cool seeing, uh, especially Jack, you know, teaching people who were two, three, four times his age, right? Teaching them how to do this skill at such a young age. And I think that's very important. And I think it's also great that we had uh, some people here teaching younger kids how to solder. So it was great teaching younger generations how to do it. So it was great. You have, you have uh, two sides of the story there. And if you helped solder there, uh, me and I just want to give you a 
uh, a thank you for your hard work uh, helping kids learn how to solder and let them and let them solder the old code practice oscillators. And putting everything together and getting all worked out and planned. Yeah. Uh, the code book, the, the board itself designed, which was a it was a really great design, and I think it's a lot of fun for the kids. Even the adults thought it was so cool. You see them in the corner just tapping it, and you're like, wow! <laughs> yes, an LED can do so much. So, um, like yeah, so I think it was a lot of fun. I think everyone can agree. Uh, it's something that definitely, I think, the club should uh, keep repeating. And, yeah, it's great. All righty, thank you. Thank you, Aubrey and Jack. And uh, Wes, we'd like to go over your membership. Where's Wes? I know he's here. I talked with him earlier. Wes, there he is. Here he comes. I don't have any new members tonight, although we're going to get some, but I would like the latest life member to come up here and if you would uh, stand up, Don Nesbitt. Oh, he's, no. he's down in the islands. And, and for DK Don and Nesbitt, we all speak. You became a life member. I'm in for DK Don Caston. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Caston. That's what the K up. is for. I went to all that trouble to get my initials on the call sign, <laughs> and he forgets. <laughs> I, I anyway, got the first right. I just became a life member this evening, I found out. <laughs> is to set an example to tell the truth, so give it some thought. Uh, yes. But that's not the same as being a new member. I joined this club when Terry Joyner first started it, down in Roswell in the, the 1970s, I think. Yes. I just don't come up here very often. But it sounds like you've got a nice program tonight, so. Thanks, Don. Thank you. You betcha. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. And Don uh, reminded me, because of the kind of night it is, about that story about the knight that rode into the uh, wayside inn oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, on a horse, or, or a dog rather. He was on a dog, wasn't he? And he wanted to know if he could stay for the night, and the innkeeper said, well, I wouldn't send a knight on a dog like this. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, and uh, membership continues to grow. <laughs> You know, Wes was not going to get away with that Sunday. Yeah. All right, uh, John Trumphouse, I think you will talk about the uh, QSO party. Very briefly, very briefly, and it's less than two months away, and you know that we all, NARF always does a great job uh, with uh, participation and score points, and we'd like for people to have fun this year and let the chips fall where they may. But I think everybody's goal should be at least to get on the air Increase your scores, maybe get more participation out of the club. Um, maybe some of the younger hams can <coughs> join in the NARFL challenge that we have where the club kind of competes for fun against each other, but also to boost our scores. So we'll have our one-by-one -one spell NARFL out there, teams, and earn awards that way. And you'll be the Georgia stations that people want to work. So in this low... I know people get frustrated with the way the propagation is. They don't turn on the radios. Now's the time to do it. Get your station prepared. The weather's getting a little bit nicer like Sunday. I was out working on antenna Sunday. Didn't make much progress, but I was doing it and getting ready. And uh, test your station out, test your skills, and when the sunspots turn around, you'll be ready. So next month, we'll talk more about what the club has in mind. But think about participating. The only Bugaboo is that it's Easter weekend, which may take away from some of the operating time, but you can still squeeze in an hour or two here and there and have a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Mark Riley, you're next. We're going to talk about our activities. Thanks, John. Hello, everybody. Hi, Mike. Hello. I'll take it direction. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> So, field day is coming. Everybody know what field day is? Yes. Everybody excited? Yes. Come on. What is field day? When is field day? No, what? What is field day? Field day is a national celebration of amateur radio sporting and capability. How's that? 
Are you going to come to check? There you go. So field day is on the last weekend of June. Last full weekend, excuse me. Fourth full weekend. It's close enough to the end for me. You're right. So we're going to start preparing. We've already started putting things together. We're using the model that we used last year as far as uh, project structure. So thank you, John, for setting that up for us. We're going to continue to use it. And we're going to start looking for volunteers to work in the different capacities that are involved. And you'll see the sign-up sheets here next month. But if you want to sign up for anything before then, just send me an email. I'll be more than happy to take your, your volunteer effort and put it to good use. So, Friday, we'll be setting up the antennas as we had last year. And I'll probably start first thing. Oh, sorry. We're going to start our operations on Saturday, right? 1800 UTC. And then we'll run till Sunday. And then we'll tear down Sunday after the event. So, we already got our permit from the as well. And they're looking forward to helping us out this year. And we'll be working a proclamation like we did last year and the years before. So it looks like it's going to be a good time. So just make sure you get the weather order right, whoever is in charge of weather. <laughs> and uh, we'll be in good shape. Any questions? Great. Okay, so we've got a lot of reoccurring events that happen. Obviously, uh, you can go to the home page, to the Norfolk.org homepage, and see what those are. They're right on the front page there. And we've got some upcoming activities. We've got Ham Fest, come, uh, Dalton Ham Fest coming up this weekend. I know a couple people going. Who's going? There you go. We'll have a couple of tables there. And uh, if you want to volunteer an hour, 30 minutes, five minutes, whatever, to hang out at the table and give somebody a break. That would be appreciated. We've got a couple of CUSO parties coming that are kind of related to the Georgia CUSO party, but maybe it would be good practice. So they come at the end of the month, and that's the South Carolina CUSO party and the North Carolina CUSO party. All right? You can go to these websites and check that out. We've got a general licensing class, a general license class being offered by Eldon Morris. That's out in Powder Springs. And that starts on March 7th, and it runs for three consecutive Saturdays. So you might want to take a look at that if you're working on your general. And finally, we've got the DX phone contest coming the first weekend in March. Okay, and then the QSO party. So that's what's going on. Another thing we've got going on is we've got Eris is going to show up. You know that thing that, that's up in the sky? What is that? Space station? <coughs> well, Kit, Kittridge Magnet School, which is down in DeKalb County, which Martha is helping out at, has a radio club. And Daryl is actually working to do the Eris contact down there. And tentatively, that is scheduled for the 24th of February. The QSO is supposed to start at 1.23 p.m. So that means the event is going to be there sometime before that, 1 o'clock. Details aren't exact yet, but if you're interested in going, see Martha. Yes, Martha. Um, supposedly they're going to have a Facebook Live broadcast of their heiress. They don't have room to accommodate a lot of people on site, but hopefully we can get out information about what that site's going to be that you can watch it from the comfort of your home. Plus, we can listen to it. And listen to it. but uh, On the air. Yes, but <laughs> seeing is good, too. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. There you go. So, modern technology is going to come to the rescue once Hope again. So. Hopefully. But in the meantime, if you have time and you have the ability, you can get down there and see what's going on. What's the date? That is March 24th. That's Monday. next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. <laughs> Excuse me. February. <clears throat> Good thing to pay attention. <laughs> Keep drifting out of range. All right. Any other questions? One minute. I think I'm done. Ah, yeah. 
Got another whole slide. Here's our uh, standard routine, right? I think the one thing I want to bring to your attention is that uh, we've got our sister club, the Aries guys. They meet monthly as well. So if you get an opportunity, come on over to that meeting. We're going to be trying to work some activities with them this year. One of the things is going to be the uh, power gate build. And then we've got uh, something going on at Mill Springs. So Mill Springs Radio Club is something that Martha and Jim have worked hard to get going and uh, we're working to try to keep it moving. Jack is a member and uh, <laughs> they're on the air on Mondays. Tuesday. Tuesdays, excuse me, and Mondays and Wednesdays oh. <laughs> whenever they have a break. And uh, they try to get on the 145.470 and just see who's out there and if you got a minute and you listen and you reach out and call, see if they're there. <laughs> They'd love to have it. Just chat for a second and get some logging. Yes, Jack, go ahead. We're usually on at uh, Monday through Friday, we're usually on at 10.10 to 10.25ish. And Tuesdays, we're usually on roughly 12.15. Yep, 12.15 to 12.30, 12.45. Yeah, 12.15 to 12.45. So join us if you get a match. Okay, I think I'm done. Anybody got any questions? Great. <laughs> we're, we're behind tonight. You make a Trying to put your thing. I'm going to turn it over to Jim. Uh, they're getting ready to start the presentation. <laughs> so, uh, Jim, if you want to tell them about it, or if you need to do that, we I need, will. We need a five or we need a five-minute intermission, they were saying. So while you guys are working on it, you want, I can be talking. You can see some of these slides. We got this just to show you a picture of the uh, uh, code device, a little bit bigger picture that you can see. And then the apparel we already talked about. All you got to do is go on the web page. You can see the apparel we've got available. Oh yeah, the uh, we talked about the scouts, and you also have a, a paper for equipment you that you're looking to sell on that antenna uh, system. Ian is looking to sell a uh, MFJ octopus antenna system. There's some flyers around the room. You may have seen something also in the uh, bulletin from Ian. Uh, say so check them out. Get a hold of him direct. It's brand new. Everything's been out of the box. And uh, it's uh, three and a half board. It's about a uh, five fifty dollars uh, unit. It's good, and we just don't have a use. Thought we had a use for it, and found out we don't. Hi everybody, you get to see the back of my head, which is probably the best view you're going to get of me tonight. Uh, I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. There's no applause necessary. Uh, I need. I need a volunteer to to be able to man the video camera when Ian cannot make it. As you'll notice, no Ian. But I need somebody to step up, preferably that has some experience with a video camera, to be able to do the pre do the taping when Ian is not here. So please see me after the meeting tonight. Please consider. Yes, I want to do something to help the club. This is it. Back to John. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. All right, we'll just move to the presentation we're uh, slide. Five. Yeah, we're, we're, we need five minutes, so you guys can enjoy yourself for five minutes, then we'll have to have immediate silence. <laughs>